Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have, we always thank God for all of you, mentioning you in our prayers. I do pray for others. I've had RJ call me and say, were you praying for me? Because I use them all. Um, and so, yes, I am definitely one who uh, prays for others. All right, so... Um, I got sucked down a little bit of a rabbit hole this weekend. Um, I have a couple of things finished that I sewed and then some, not. as you can see the shirts, I haven't gotten them done. I haven't gotten anything off the mannequin, but I do have some finished projects. Um, uh, just real quick. I did get, you know, I'm working on the coasters and candy sets for Christmas um, and I got those two little ones made, and then I got, I don't know, two, four, six, eight coasters made, and then I have these. All I have to do is go around the edge, and I did one each way, because I don't know if I really want to go around the edge, and then I did it where I didn't go around the edge. Um don't know I don't know which one I like better um, because these are so tiny it just makes it kind of hard you know so yeah I'm debating with or without stitching and I may just do some each way but I've got these left the bowl parts left to do I have this one all measured out and marked and ready to to uh, so I just don't want to do it in red thread and that's what I have on for these red heart ones so yeah I've gotten quite a few of those worked on and I've got like 20 of some of them to do before Christmas so I'm progressing uh, so I worked on those then I do have a lady at the bank whose sister is uh, mentally challenged and her and I talk a lot because a lot of people don't know the trials and tribulations of dealing with someone well her sister is high functioning like she can drive she can hold down a little job but that's it it's it's going to be a low minimum wage job it's you know yeah, it, it, she just is really, she's high functioning, but she can't make it on her own. So anyway, right now, her biggest struggle is since graduating high school, high school every day when you're in school, you go and you have friends. You have people you see on a daily basis. After you graduate and you start a job, the people at the job most likely become your friends. But the big difference between high school and grown-up, the hanging out. She doesn't have anyone to hang out with. And so she clings to people and calls them friends when they're really not. But anyway, she has gone to calling the people at the coffee shop when she goes in to get her coffee. They're all her friends. And her parents were like... And this is what I told her. her parents just said, I, I don't know how to get across to her that those people aren't her friends. And I looked at them and I said to her, they are. And I said, but like anything, I said, you don't worry about what she calls them. You worry about her understanding that there's good and bad people everywhere. And I said, there's good and bad friends. There's good and bad people. There's good and bad. I said, that's what she needs to know. I said, not that she calls them all friends. I said, don't worry about that part. But you need to make sure that she has the right kind of friends and that she can choose the right kind of friends. And they looked at me and said, you're right. And dad said, I'm never going to say anything about the word friends again because I guess he'd get onto her and tell her, those aren't your friends. Those people just work there. And I told him, I said, you know what? I said, I will be her friend. 
And they just kind of looked at me and I said, and I'm the good kind of friend. So, you know, it, it'll be fine. She can call me a friend. And so I uh, had started making her little bookmarks and just little things to send with her sister, send home to her. And so her and I are now friends. Well, her birthday's coming up. And I got this idea. <laughs> anyway, I made her a crossbody. Now, I don't have the strap done yet. Um, I still have to do that. But I made, this is actually the front. Okay. Because for decoration, I put this. She has a big keychain that she carries. Everything I've ever made her, she has tied on that keychain. So I've got one of those nice clips. And then I've got these for the, and this is the front. Now on the back, she's got a zipper pouch here that can keep her ID and stuff that she needs, you know, close to her so that it's up against your skin. And But anyway, um, I did that one pocket there. I did not do any more pockets in here. Just dropped it down in because I also did, and I stole this. Off the internet, it's not my original idea, but it is what it is. So, I saw these cute little gift card holders. They're what I call one-piece wonders. Um, it's just a cut-out front and lining. Iron it, stitch around the outside of it, turn it right side out, fold it a certain way, stitch it, and put a cam snap on it. Um... This is my third attempt. I did make a pattern for it. The first one came up. It's a little off right here. Um, I didn't get it exactly centered, but it still works. Okay. Uh, it still has a big pocket and it still works here. So, yeah. Um, anyway, but I ended up making three. And as you can tell, these two, the first one that I did, it's a little big, it's a little bulky, a little off um, with the measurements. Uh, this one, I did a, the front is rounded, but measurements are a lot better and everything fits. Um, and then I did try one that, and it looks really good too, and I just left it square. I just wanted to see what it would look like, and it that's really good. So I have three of these. Uh, one is going to um, in the this for her. I'm going to get her a Chick Fil A gift card and a Dutch Brothers gift card. Those are the two places she likes to go, and I'm going to put those in that gift card holder, and then give her this for her birthday. Um, so yeah, I worked on that and it kind of sucked me down a rabbit hole because while I was looking and I wanted to do a little card holder that was really cute, but simple, I had scrolled through some stuff and that's why I found this. <sighs> and once I figured out, hmm, I could make more of these, especially to give us gifts at work. Um, I, uh, stopped and made a pattern for it. And that is why you see the progression of improvement through these is because the first one, I don't always try to, I really don't try to use it. It just came out good enough that I could use it this time. Okay. Other times I'll end up not using them when I'm working to make a pattern. So anyway, made a pattern on that. And then, um, I had taken those bags and this is y'all know these right here these snaps these are cam snaps you know that i love these things i put them on a lot of bags i use them on the jackets and stuff that i make uh i'm to a point where i don't make buttonholes anymore it's cam snaps uh so and i know how to do snaps okay i get it even have the round, uh, I call them studs that you 
and hammer it in. I can do the four prong. I can do the pop together, you know, the ones you bang. And anyway, so when I went to work, I uh, took all those bags, those gift bags. And, you know, I have their upcycled upholstery. Everybody loved the idea. There was ladies that came down and took what they needed for birthday or gift bags there at the bank. You know, those things are going to be circulating everywhere at that bank for a while. Which is fine because I got the totes empty. They're all gone. They're done. Uh, now, <laughs> one lady asked me, and she took seven of them. She has a ladies retreat coming up. And she's got this whole theme going on. And she wanted the bags and she got some that would fit in to her theme. And she was super excited. I'm glad. And she said she went home and she decided she was going to put snaps on. And I said, well, you know, I could put those snaps on there. It wouldn't take me two seconds to get snaps on all of those. And uh, she goes, well, and she goes, I, I can do it. I used to sew when I was a kid, and I actually owned a sewing machine, and I'm going to try. I said, okay. Well, the next day, she came downstairs. She, I'm carrying one of the bags, and she says, and she's got this little thing of um, snaps, and she's, they're the metal kind that you bang on. And she says, um, I have a snap. And I said, okay. And so she pulls out the metal ones and she says, I saw this thing. And, and she says, they had a big press, the metal ones. And I said, yeah. I said, that's an industrial type press and somebody who does, you know, I mean, to have the big press that does the metal ones, that's a little out of my league. Okay. And I told her, I said, it's that little, that metal press is more, far more expensive. I said, I've got some cam snaps. Let me just bring you those. And I said, and I'll, I, she actually asked if I knew how to do it. And I said, yes, I do. I said, I've got my granny's uh, studs that you bang. And I said, it's easier if you're going to do it, you can use those. And I said, I'll bring you those. She said, okay. Well, I got here and dug out my studs. I never used them. So they're always in the bottom of the sewing machine or box, which is right there. And uh, so I decided I was going to take cam snaps as well. Just easier. I know people, and the thing is, is that the colored snaps look, people think of the first um, snaps that came out, the first plastic ones. And they were kind of chintzy and, you know, it, it's not the same. Cam snaps are very nice. They look well finished. They're, the color in them makes it just look natural. It it doesn't look cheap at all. Okay. So I took her the cam snaps too. And I took it up to her and I showed her the uh thing and the the studs. And I said, now you can do these. Um or I said I brought you an easier option and it's not going to tear your fabric. You're not going to have to Rip them out, redo, rip them out, redo. And uh, I said, they're called cam snaps. Here they are. Here's the machine. And, of course, I had the instructions still in there, which I didn't realize. I was like, I don't know. You just put them in. And I looked at her and I said, oh, look, here's the instructions for you. Here's a screwdriver in case you have to change this out. Um, I had extra heads and stuff. And then I had an array of colors. And I said, just, you know, you might consider these. They're just so much easier next day she comes in and she thanked me and she said okay you know but I'll probably just use the studs and use up these metal ones I said okay she comes in the next day and uh, she says do you mind if I keep your stuff an another day or two I said sure I said not a problem I said I'm not needing it right now I said if I need it before you get it back to me I'll let you know she said okay and she and I said so are you doing the metal ones or she looked at me and she goes, oh, my word. She says, I just want to cam snap the world. She says, I have some other projects. Do you mind if I 
use some of the other snacks. I said, just use what you need to use. And, you know, I said, it's fine. I said, they're inexpensive enough that it's not a big deal. And she looked at me and she said, I had to quit last night because she says, I would have gotten them all done. She says, but I put two snaps on mine because I was having so much fun doing it. And she said, and then I moved on with get them and she would lay out the fire and then she'd lay certain I have different colors and she'd lay them out and see how they uh, went together. And then she decided on color and then she'd put it on there. And she'd, oh, look at that. It's so easy. and so pretty. Look. And she look. And her son was trying to watch TV. And uh, he finally looked at her and goes, Mom, can you not do that somewhere else? She said she just looked at it and she says, I'll put it away for the night. <laughs> and she put it away. And so um, he said she was being too noisy with it. <laughs> I was like, noisy? I said, that can press doesn't make noise. She says, no, my oohs and ahs and oh, that's so pretty. Was getting on his nerves. <laughs> so I have made a cam snap monster. Um, and that's what I called her was I said, I made a snap monster and she just liked how simple it was. And, and she's getting back into sewing. She, uh, has some cushions that are for her patio furniture. And she said that they're getting really bad looking and she is going to attempt this summer to replace them. And she asked me if I would be able to help her if she needed it. <laughs> Sorry, dropped my thing. Uh, I told her I would. Um, I have had, since giving those bags away, I have a lady who has a some towels that I need to repair. Um, and there are towels with um, lace and stuff across them. And they were made for her. And they were a gift. And she really wants to get them repaired. I said, sure, no problem. I've got the one lady who's in investigating sewing again because of it. Uh, I've got some dresses I need to him. And I've got some pants that I am will be making. So... Um, I'll let you know as those projects progress right now, it's on them to bring me the stuff because I am not pursuing them. If they don't bring it to me and they don't want, it's not going to happen. So, uh, it is what it is. And that's exactly what I told them. So I don't do anything pressured, no prom dresses, no, uh, wedding dresses, no formal attire. I said, you know, I said, I can make work clothes all day long. But I'm not going to be pressured. I don't want the pressure from because then it becomes work and not fun. So, all right. I am going to get off of here. You guys saw what I'd gotten done. Um, hopefully, uh, this weekend. I'm going to try and get up back on that. Um, I saw this tea thing. And, and I want to see if I can find it again. It was really cute. It's a two-piece. It's a uh, flat mat with two pockets in the side and handles and a drawstring bag cam snaps into the bottom of it. And you've got your teacup in the bag and then you've got a teaspoon and tea bags and, you know, a napkin all in the little pockets. And then once you cam snap the, the drawstring bag and it, it folds up and you've got it by handles and it's really cute. Because when you undo the bag, you've got a little square spot um, to set your teacup, you know, like a coaster. A little bit bigger than a coaster, but a little area, clean, sanitized area that you can make your tea. You know, you can lay your spoon on it. And so anyway, it was super cute. And I thought, hmm, and I wanted to go back and see that video again, but then I lost it. <laughs> How do y'all keep track of? something that you see that you think is a cute idea and you might want to adapt it to yourself. And how do you find it again? I'm just asking because I literally have gone to messaging my daughter some videos just so I can find them again. I know it's an old person problem. Anyway, 
All right, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, I hope you guys have an amazing week. It is later in the week and I'm late recording, but hopefully this will be up and I will see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.